Do you notice you can't go up and down stairs as easily or get on and off the floor as easily? It could be because you're losing a lot of strength in your hips and legs. This can happen as we get older if we're not intentional about strengthening our hips and legs and or if we're sitting a lot during the day. So today I'm gonna to share with you two of my favorite exercises for strengthening the hips. As a PT and a holistic practitioner, I know that stronger hips not only help us move better, but they help us with our balance and they can help to prevent low back pain. Please make sure that you consult with your physician before starting any new exercise program. And if you are experiencing pain, please stop and have that further assessed by a healthcare professional. All right, let's get started. The first exercise is bridging. Now, this exercise is very much targeting the, the glutes and the hamstrings. We need our glutes to be able to go up and down stairs, get on and off the floor, but also to be able to lift heavy things off the floor so that we're not taking all of the the brunt of the lift in our low back. So we are using and targeting our glute muscles here. So the first one we're gonna do is bridging. To do this, I want you to come down onto your side, lower to the side first, and then roll onto the back. And you want to have your feet about hip distance apart, legs are parallel to each other. So the first thing that we're going to do is find our neutral spine. Now, I go into greater detail in my foundations video if you want to go back to review that one first to help you to figure out where your neutral spine is. But basically what we're doing is we are tilting the pelvis back and forth to find that middle ground where it feels the best. It's between an imprint and an arch. So it's in between those two areas and we're going to zipper up our low abs so as if you're taking a zipper and a zipping up a pair of pants so you're engaging the abs you're pulling in from all sides arms are down by the side now you're going to start to engage your glute muscles and sometimes even if you tap them to wake them up and you're going to stay pretty much in that neutral spine as you lift up pushing down through the feet and down through the arms. I like to press down through the arms as well, and then just lift up. And you should feel the glutes engaged here. If you go too high, you may start to feel it in the low back. So we don't want that. We want just high enough that you feel the glutes are engaged and there should be no pain at all in the low back. And then we're just going to lower down. So we're just going to press down through the feet, down through the arms and lift, feeling the glutes engaged. You may feel your hamstrings engaged as well, reaching long with the fingertips toward the opposite wall and then lower down. We can combine that with a breath, take an inhale and then on an exhale, press it down and lift. Hold at the top and inhale and then lower down and exhale. Take an inhale, exhale, press it down and lift. Inhale at the top and exhale to lower down. And as you do this, feel that the glutes and the hamstrings are engaged, but also you feel that the abdominals are engaged as well. And be thinking about very three-dimensional motion here. So as you're lifting up, you should also be reaching along with the fingertips toward that wall and through the crown of the head and then lower down. Let's just do two more here. Inhale and exhale. Again, no pain in the back, just feeling it in the glutes, hamstrings and lower down. We'll do one more. Exhale and lift up making sure those knees are staying parallel and they're not falling in and that can sometimes happen and lower down now to make this a little bit harder you can move the move the feet back so they're not quite at the fingertips almost reaching the fingertips you can come up into your bridge 
and you can lift a heel off the floor. So go ahead and lift the heel up and lower and then the opposite heel up and lower. Now the challenge here is to keep the pelvis level because what can happen when you lift one heel up is the pelvis can tend to dip. So you have to really work to maintain a level pelvis and stay lifted the entire time. Up and down and lift and lower. Let's do one more on each side. And just take your last inhale at the top and exhale and lower all the way down. If you want to progress this even further, you can take your inhale and on your exhale come up. And you can try lifting one foot off the ground and lower down. Now watch here that the pelvis stays stable. If you find that you're lifting that foot up and that pelvis is dropping, you can correct it, but if that's too hard, just stay at the previous level. So little marches in bridging. It's really gonna work that opposite glute. So inhale on the way down, exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Inhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lower and exhale to lower all the way down. That's our bridging series. Our next exercise is the clamshell exercise. This is one of my favorite ones. The clamshell is targeting the glute medius muscle. This muscle is very important for walking and helping us to maintain our balance and being able to step out to the side. So really important uh, muscle to be strengthening. And it also is important when it comes to back pain. So one of the exercises I love to, to use to target this muscle is the clamshell. This is how you do it. So you're gonna lower down onto your side. Like this, you're going to line yourself up. The easiest way to do it is to line yourself up with the back of the mat. So the butt is at the back and your feet are in line with your whole body. So you're in one straight line with the knees bent. And in this position, what you're going to do is you're going to just be lifting the top knee up with the feet held together. Now, the muscles involved are right on the back. You've got this bony prominence here, right to the back of that. And what I like to do is kind of tap those muscles so it signals the muscles to actually work. It helps you to feel which muscles should be working and sort of wakes them up. All right, so you're getting a little sensory input, opening the knee up toward the ceiling and then closing. So imagine that you should be feeling this in the back of the hip if you're doing it correctly. Now watch that when you lift the knee, you're not rolling back. Stay right on top of that hip. And if you can, stay a little bit lifted underneath there or allow this hip to come down a little bit so that you're not sinking completely into the waist. So that's it. So it's just opening up and lowering down and open and lower and open, lower. Keep going. Let's do five more, five and four and three and two and one. All right, now, if that felt pretty easy to you, you can take it a step further and bring in a little bit of resistance with a TheraBand or any kind of band will work. So what you're going to do is you're just going to place that over the knees like this and then come down onto your side again. Again, all in one piece as you come down, sliding that arm out underneath you. 
line those feet up again so the feet are in line with the butt and everything's in one straight line. So the same thing again, engage the core so there's a tiny little space underneath the waist if you can, or just imagine that. And or think of bringing this hip down a little bit and that will help to lift that underside as well. All right, zippering up the low abs and open the knee up and lower. Again, watch that you're not rocking. It's not a big motion. People think this is a big motion. They tend to do this and now you've moved away from your glute muscle and you're starting to recruit more of the hip flexors. So just lifting up and down and up and down. Again, such a good exercise for helping you with balance, for helping you with all of your activities of daily living. And just do two more and down and down. And don't forget to repeat that on the other side. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and remember to subscribe so you will get notified when all of the new ones come out.